most beautiful places to visit in Italy. Rome. Simply hearing the name evokes probably the most renowned tourist spots on the planet. The Colosseum, the Sistine Chapel, and the Vatican. This city is a brilliant mix of verifiable destinations, beguiling piazzas and neighborhoods, top-notch galleries, and notorious locales. Interestingly guessed, Rome has a place at or close to the first spot on your list. Florence This city was the origin of the Renaissance and the Craftsmanship Exhibition Halls here are a demonstration of that. Michelangelo's David, the astonishing Uffizi Gallery, the paintings inside the Arch of the Duomo, and the sculptures that are in plain view in the notable downtown area are dynamite sights to see. Tuscany With grand, beautiful slope towns ascending in the midst of great plantations and moving slopes, Tuscany is stunning and a delight to investigate. You could undoubtedly burn through multi-week in Tuscany, settling down in a Tuscan manner, with road trips out to the encompassing towns. Siena. Siena is one of the bigger towns and, similar to Florence, makes an extraordinary headquarters for investigating this district. In fact, Siena is a slope town in Tuscany. In any case, it is such an extraordinary spot to visit that it merits its own notice. Milan. Milan is home to the Duomo, elite exhibition halls, popular shopping regions, and Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper. This city is going through a building renaissance and it is worth even a couple of hours on the quickest of schedules. Lake Como. Settled at the foot of the Alps, Lake Como is quite possibly of Italy's most heartfelt spot. Visit tasteful Bellagio, explore the town of Verena, voyage past the manors on Lake Como, and visit Villa Carlotta and Villa del Balbianello. Venice Venice is one of our number one spots in Italy. Why? It is little and reduced, wonderful to be investigated with only a couple of days time. Venice is heartfelt, memorable, and dazzling. The channels, the gondolas, the design, the bright towns of Murano and Burano. What isn't to adore? Sancterre. The Sancterre is perhaps of Italy's most picturesque spot. It is here that five bright, ravishing towns dubiously sit on the slopes that tumble into the Mediterranean Sea. Climb it or jump from one town to another via train. This is a beautiful spot to investigate in Italy. Verona Verona is the acclaimed city where Romeo and Juliet occurred. This little city is flawless, like Venice yet without the waterways, the rot, and the immense quantities of vacationers. Walk across Ponte Scalagero, visit Piazza del Herb, visit the Basilica di San Zeno Maggiore, neglect Verona from Piazzale Castel San Pietro, and walk around the town at night, the Pascheggiata. Pisa The Leaning Tower of Pisa is incredibly popular. 
Yet, is it truly worth the visit? We say okay, however provided that you as of now have plans to be nearby. The Dolomites. The Dolomites gets our vote as one of the most outstanding spots to visit in Italy, since it is a climbing heaven, yet additionally on the grounds that the landscape is shocking. Pompeii. At the foot of Mount Vesuvius sits the remains of the old city of Pompeii. This is your opportunity to stroll through a safeguarded, old city and get one of Italy's best history illustrations. The Amalfi Coast. The drive along the Amalfi Coast is supposed to be perhaps of the most grand drive on the planet. Indeed, it's one more beautiful spot in Italy, yet be careful, assuming you are here in summer, these streets get obstructed with drivers and vacationers. Nonetheless, in the event that you appreciate waterfront towns, a few evenings in Positano would be an extraordinary encounter. Sorrento. Stroll along the Corso Italia, investigate the tidal pond at Bagni della Regina Giovanna, taste limoncello, and see Marina Grand. Yet, since this makes such an extraordinary place, we suggest no less than three days here. That gives you sufficient opportunity to road trip to Capri, Pompeii, and the Amalfi Coast. The Island of Capri. Capri is a little, precipitous island that sits off of the shoreline of Italy. Emilia Romagna and Bologna. Emilia Romagna is one of the 20 authoritative areas of Italy. Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, and Ducati are totally situated here. Visit the famous beachfront retreats that line the Adriatic Sea, dive into the 11 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, visit the previous Roman Empire capital city of Ravenna, and visit the University of Bologna, the most established college on the planet. Puglia. Puglia, additionally called Apulia, topographically is the heel of Italy. Its longshore sits on the Adriatic Sea. Sicily. Sicily is the biggest island in the Mediterranean. It is home to Mount Etna, the second most dynamic spring of gushing lava on the planet, alongside a few more modest dynamic volcanoes. Sardinia. Sardinia is the second biggest island in the Mediterranean Sea. It sits just toward the south of Corsica and toward the north of Tunisia. San Marino. San Marino is a little, free country totally encompassed by Italy. It has a terrific area, settled in the mountains close to the Adriatic Sea. Wander the city roads, visit Piazza della Liberta, climb Guaida and Sesta Towers, watch the crossbow exhibit at Cava dei Balestrieri, and visit the peculiar historical centers. You can visit San Marino on a road trip from Bologna and the Emilia-Romagna district or Tuscany.